We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Breach Show. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and today, ladies and gentlemen, I get a chance to start up my coverage of Arc Runner. It is by the folks over at Trick Jump Games Limited and P Cube, and it released originally on PC on April 27th, 2023, about a year ago. However, it has an upcoming date for its console launch, which is April 18th, 2024. It'll be available on everything PS4, 5, Xbox One, Series S and X, and of course the Nintendo Switch. So again, out now on PC, available on consoles on the 18th of April. A big shout out and a thank you to P-Cube for hooking me up with the code for this. This is the PC version of the game because uh, me shooting stuff with a console does not sound like an enjoyable time for any any y'all watch. Well, I don't know, maybe it'd be pretty funny, but yeah, I do a little bit better with the keyboard and mouse. Hopefully that means I do good. We'll find out. All right, I've not played this yet. I've been waiting till closer to the date of the console launch. And while I'm not covering it on console, it's all good. Just don't want to adhere to their uh, embargo dates. So here we are, getting a chance to showcase it a bit early. Or a bit late, if you consider it being on PC already. Either way, this looked really cool. I don't know how I missed it in the past, but here we are. Re-atomization successful. Quantum memory upload with intolerance. Welcome back, General. What's up? What happened? Where am I? Eh, about that. There's good news and, well, bad news. Good news is you've been re-atomized aboard the Ark, a Titan-class space station and one of the seven million wonders of the known universe. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> and, the, and, the, and the bad news? The AI controlling the Ark was hit by a metavirus and, well, it's gone insane. Rounded up all the inhabitants and shipped them off to, or for reprocessing. Yeah, it's not great. I see. Uh, why weren't you affected? I was close. I managed to firewall myself in a distant part of the station. Let me guess. You brought me back to fix this mess. Well, yeah, my search through all the personalities stored on board indicated yours had the highest probability of success. That figures. Uh, what do I need to do? Simple, traverse the arc. Uh, take the one remaining functional dorsal elevator to the station core, locate the AI, and reset it using this quantum backup drive. Huh, neat. Ah, oh, that sounds too easy. Well, what's the catch? Ah! Uh, Every robotic entity on the station will be trying to kill you. That seems probably negative. Like I said, figures. Re-atomization protocols. Ah, the usual. On body death, you'll be re-atomized here, and your quantum entangled memories uploaded. I have several body templates on file. Feel free to choose one that suits your needs before starting your run. And good luck, Commander. Or General, in this case. So this is a 1-3 to three player uh, action roguelite. Or roguelike. Uh, as it were. So, yeah. There's probably going to be death. Probably more than a little bit of it. But we'll, we'll see. Alright, the Soldier is an all-around combat class that excels in ranged combat. It utilizes an energy shield that can deflect incoming fire and even direct it back at your attacker. Uh-huh. We have the Ninja. Sweet. Uh, the ninja is a fast, agile class that specializes in stealth and katana kills. The ninja special is a stealth cloaking field that renders it invisible to enemies. Though you cannot attack while in stealth. Yeah, fine. It doesn't look like we have, uh, throw your katana. It doesn't look like we have a lot of ranged capabilities with the ninja. The hacker, reach Eden level 1 to unlock. Let's see what else we got. That's it. All right, let's go with the soldier. Feels like it might be okay. Okay, this definitely seems bad. Hmm. 
Oh, uh, use, uh, use Waz to move. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm moving. Space to jump. Nope, that didn't work. Can I double jump? Hmm. Oh, I, I, I didn't do all the stuff. Okay. Wants to make sure that I do all the stuff. I see. Alternatively, you can well, roll. That's a little bit rough. Shoot the melee. Cool, cool, cool. It's interesting that you, you do take a little bit of time to switch to your uh, weapon. Search the crate, pick it up, and the shock grenade. Okay, so that's on F. Nice. Use the shield to deflect incoming fire. Tab will open our inventory and close it. Cool, cool, cool. Tutorial complete. Oh, I'm a superhero. Look at me. Entering City One. Hostiles incoming. D -d 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 Double kill. Steel is oh goodness. All right, I secured the area. Cool, cool. Ooh. So I have a basic enforcer, or I have an enforcer. This is a basic one. It looks like he's got a sniper scope. A little bit more range. Yeah, okay. It does seem like the better choice. I could get rid of the pistol and go for the Viper. And then what's our other option? A shotgun. Ooh. How does this work? Oh, okay. It, it literally is. Okay, it's an SMG. All right. Hostiles are incoming. Oh, jeez. They blended in quite well. That or I just don't know how to pay attention. Eh, na 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 na. Oh. I, I might I might have accidentally blown up the uh Okay, simple enough. I say relatively straightforward there, to be honest. Um, wait, a shield drone? It's only for five seconds, though. Uh, no, I think I'll keep the shock grenade. This is a worse version of it. All right, we do have a little map in the bottom corner. Pretty much identical.
Let's see what's in this dead end. Is there anything? Nothing seems to be spawning. It's just kind of a, a dead end. All right. All right, well, we'll head over to the other side. See if there's anything over here. Oh, there's a star over here. Something's going on. Kill five enemies. Oh, I have to do a multi-kill, huh? m m m m multi kill I was a little apprehensive to use my grenade on myself, but I was like, eh, I'll give it a shot. If it goes badly, it goes badly. All right, we can get a large med kit, some nanites, or a rare weapon, and a, a plasma electric enforcer. Huh. Eh, I don't know what nanites do. Oh, it's probably for my shield. Maybe I don't. I don't know. Let's get the. Let's get the. The med kit. I was missing a little bit of health. All right, we push onward. Yay! Nanites plus one. So nanites are a thing. Oh, I get to choose an augment. Cognitive. Uh, Shielding, even though it looks like cognitive uh, shell long, is what it looks like to me. It's fine. Uh, stun time decreased. Gain 50% of max HP as armor. Sprint boost 50% faster for one second. Eh. Projectiles penetrate armored enemies to deal a portion of the damage. Ooh, I'm gonna go with that one. I I do like doing extra damage, especially to hard to kill enemies. All right. Oh. I thought maybe like a drop ship or something there. More enemies coming. Run like the wind, Binky. Alright, we outplayed those guys, but only slightly. Just happy that I didn't accidentally get myself m murdered there. Some questionable maneuvers. Again, shield drone. Ooh, a plasma grenade. I like that even more. Yeah, give me that. How do I... Okay, we go. we go with E. We swap it up. We get to use a little bit of the old... The old double tactic. and Double tap tactic. Alright. New area. Hostiles incoming. I see you. I see you, Broseppi.
<laughs> Who's the last guy? Okay. I wonder if I should be like destroying like the trucks and things or that's a bad idea as a whole. Very nice. All right, I could have I could have gone with the 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 old Q slam. Ah, we can use those as explosives to get some extra bonus damage. Okay, I'm like, is there gonna be like some sort of reward for blowing those up, or like what specifically? All right, looks like that's a challenge room behind us. Eh. Uh. What else? It's kind of looking around at the loot that's down. Shotgun. Oh. Less accurate when moving. I'm just curious as to what this looks like. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Nope. I, I wish I had a little bit more ammo on my... I'm a Vipper, but it's okay. I could probably burst fire a little bit more acutely, kill five enemies while in the air. It's easy enough. A little, little, little bunny hopping. It goes a long way. Ah, uh, ooh, armor shard. Oh, hello. Alright, sorry. Oh! I did not know that those things uh, existed. Uh, let's close it here. Okay, there are little boxes laying around on the ground. I kind of wish I would have looked on the map before I went through. Alright, so we came from over there. There's a... Maybe a dead-end path this way? Yeah, and then... Nothing the other way. Or, sorry, sorry, the exit the other way. Apologies. Apologies. Um, Alright. Seems fine. Or fair, I suppose. Okay, so we could upgrade this more. We can get phase shift, 30% damage, less damage for 0.3 seconds. During and shortly after dodging. Energy ball deals 100% of shield damage. Convert shield damage into a ball of energy fired when the shield is released. Oh, that's cool. Let's do that. Sounds like a fantastic upgrade slash augment. I am here for it. Binary City, usually just called, was it the city? City, Eden, Ark, Docks. Does, does this actually mean something? I assume it does. Styles incoming. Where are they? Oh. Uh. Slow and steady. Uh oh.
kill a couple guys uh, in the air, you know. Easy. Probably. Probably easy. I would say, ooh, look, it's a, it's a little baby. It's a little baby. No, I'm, I'm good with my plasma grenade. I'm, I don't use it very often, but I'm good with it. I'm kind of hoping that we get, like, a like a assault rifle, like, a, some sort of, like, longer range. I mean, I guess this is fine as far as the SMG goes, but I wouldn't mind a slightly further away murder machine. Still, I think this is a very solid gun that we've picked up so far, based off of the other weapons that I've seen. Hey, ya boyos. Explosions in the night. Oh, that didn't do good. more let's go let's go Q him in the face let's go QQ or pew pew the QQ I don't know that's the thing right where are you at oh there's the assault rifle I was looking for but it's significantly weaker than what we have but at least it exists the mag is actually less than that but what's the range the range is significantly better. An electron web. Ooh, that's kind of neat. We're starting to see some uh, diversity in the weaponry and stuff, such here. I, I like that. Ooh, that's pretty nice looking. Is that a... Okay, yeah, no, nope, absolutely switching to an auto turret. There's not even a question in my mind whether that's what I want or not. I assume you guys are a big old nothing burger? Yeah. Well, this has been fun. I've enjoyed this. This has actually been quite enjoyable. It's not too insane yet. It's getting harder progressively. It's been a, it's been a good time. 10 enemies with more than, or sorry, that are more than whatever away. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. All right. Loot box. We get another rare enforcer, which again, pretty incredible thing. I'm just worried about the 11 mag. Uh, 
you know what? I'm gonna do it. Now it says it has a, re a reflex sight. What does that mean? I don't know. It's fine. We gave up our, S our SMG. Let's hope that we don't regret this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get our final radar ranges increased. Okay. Energy ball deals more damage. Jump jets. Oh. Oh, I like that too. I want that one. All right, so I'm trying to, I'm still trying to figure out what exactly this thing in front of us is trying to tell me here. We're at City Four, so we're in this section. So we've gone to one, two, three. This is the fourth. Then we have the fifth, and then we go into a boss fight, and then we go into the docks, I think, and we go all the way around, and then another boss fight. Then into Eden, all the way around, and then to a boss fight, maybe? Or, after the boss fight, we can go directly into the core? I don't know. I don't know how it works. But I think this is going to be where we stop our first episode, guys and gals. Had a lot of fun with this. Um, if you guys like what you saw and you want to pick it up yourselves, again, available on PC right now and on the 18th of April, 2024, you'll be able to grab it for pretty much all current gen and even last gen consoles. So, yeah. Either go ahead and wishlist it or, you know, mark it down or whatever and uh, enjoy it when it comes out if you're getting it on console or grab it now as it's out on PC. That all being said, if you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, the publisher, any of that stuff down below in the description of the video. There'll be various links just like there always are. And until the very next episode, I have been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Like and subscribe. Eh, eh, eh. Thanks for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight. We conquer.